you thought you'd pack that. <laughs> Thank you, darling. What the hell's a passport for? You're not fleeing the country, are you? Oh, he asked me to take it. I imagine it's for some variation of the Shalabat test. Well, some people seem to think you need them to get over to the other world. But you don't. Of course not, darling. It sounds an out and out quack. I don't know why he's asked you, an unbeliever. I think you're mad to go. I'm not an unbeliever, I'm a non-believer. I have an open mind. <laughs> oh, darling, let me enjoy it. I've never been a well-known author before. Yeah, oh. And besides, he's paying me 25 pounds for the weekend. Guinness. We might blow some of it on a few days in Wales. I don't have to lecture for a fortnight. Oh, we could look up the Hamiltons. Mm. You're sure the university doesn't mind? Well, of course not. It's my subject. Well, I think I'll take the tape recorder as well. <laughs> well, you never know. There might be some things that go bump in the night. Do you really think it's fair to take his money? I mean, I bet his theories are quite potty. Where are those new cassettes? Oh. He wants me to observe what he calls some psychic phenomena. Well, he's Red Frontier, so he knows where oh. I stand. I have an open mind. I wish we knew more about him. I wish Sarah would put her toys away. Well, it's time for some coffee. Shall I make some? It's obviously no use my saying anything. You'll do what you want in the end, anyway. I wish you were coming with me. So do I, darling. She looks quite harmless, but then they all do. Would you like me to wear my hospital whites, Doctor? I've brought them with me. No, I think not. You should be as unobtrusive as possible. She's an extremely brilliant woman, except for this lack of balance. You'll have to keep your wits about you. No need to worry, Doctor. We had all types at Broadhurst. <laughs> 